Imagine going through your life with no sense of direction, having no control of what you can do or say, only being told what to do by people far outside of your control. Slowly this eats away at you until you can't distinguish between your original identity and the ones molded and crafted by the self-interest of others. And this is the horrifying world of Perfect Blue. This movie follows Mima Kirikoe, a member of a J-pop idol group who leaves to pursue a career in acting. Some of her fans wish her the best in her new path, however there are a few who desire for her to return to her idol group. In particular, there is a stalker who creates a website pretending to be Mima and detailing her everyday life. As the demands for her roles become more and more intense and fellow co-workers are killed in mysterious ways, Mima begins to become unhinged from reality, with her pop idol self physically reappearing to her, beckoning her to return to her past self, and scenes from her acting career becoming indistinguishable with events in real life. Thus, taking the viewer for a ride where the line between fiction and reality is increasingly blurred with each passing moment. Airing in 1998, Perfect Blue holds more prevalence now than it ever had as it almost predicted the nature of social media and the idea of us existing in two separate worlds. This film was made to show the darker side of fame for celebrities, but now with the advent of the internet, all of us are celebrities. We each have our own platform and audience that we can reach out to, our own sphere of influence. We all have multiple accounts and identities that we change and trim in order to make them show a very specific side of ourselves. All of our virtual interactions are subjected to this. We can think that we have some familiarity with each other, but when it comes down to it, we're just people in front of a camera, text on a screen. Even now, I'm just a sentient sandbag wearing Jotaro's hat speaking into a microphone. We can't prove that any of us are being or showing our true selves. We all have our digital identities. While this movie has seemingly fantastical elements, the psychological horror of losing your grip on reality as other tries to mold you into their idealistic view of you is very real. It poses questions such as what happens when we lose control of our avatars? How much do they control us? And rather than us shaping our avatars, what happens when they begin to shape us? Are we truly able to distinguish between who we know ourselves to be and the multiple personalities that we share with others? Without an identity, who are we? Or with multiple identities, which one is the real one? Our avatars are only as powerful as others allow them to be. We can only play into the fantasy as much as others allow us to. Then what does it mean to have people who can only see us in that avatar? How do people cope when we reveal ourselves to have more sides that breaks the mold of their idols? It can be difficult to understand the complexity and nuance in our personalities and lives because we simply don't have the time and energy to fully understand every single person we encounter both physically and virtually. Rather, it's a lot easier to define someone just as their avatar. It's a quick and easy representation of who they are and how they fit into our defined categories of people, so we can just store them away and move on with our lives. And that is the true horror of Perfect Blue. It's not being impersonated by a stalker. It's not having your peers be killed off mysterious murders. It's not the fear that you made a wrong career decision. Rather, it's the existentialism caused by the realization that we may not be in control of our own personalities and identities, that the life we live has just been a fabrication from the expectation of others, and that our true selves are lying somewhere bubbling away, which makes this such an incredible movie. Finally, if you've not yet seen this movie, I hope this video piqued your interest, and I highly encourage you to personally experience the thrill and horror of Perfect Blue. Otherwise, to wherever you are in the world, thank you so much for watching, and until we meet again, take care everyone.